Hey everybody, and welcome to Making Control for a Quick Tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about live time next time. The live time and next time keys can be used to change or set the times in the current active queue or the next queue or any other queue in the queue list by changing soft key A. After pressing live time or next time, you'll be presented with the options to change all the timing options on the soft keys. You can quickly set a temporary fade for the next queue by typing the time on the number pad and then pressing go. After pressing live time or next time on the soft keys, you'll have the following options. Select queue number, sets which queue you want to edit. Delay in, the time of the delay before the fade in starts. Fade in, the time this queue will fade in over. Delay out, the time of the delay before fade out starts. Fade out, the time this queue will fade out in. Move in dark delay, delay time for move in dark. Move in dark fade, the fade time for move in dark. Fixture overlap, sets the overlap percentage. Auto load times sets the times for an auto loaded queue. Link set the wait for go or link with or after previous queue. Link offset set the offset length. Link offset type seconds or percentage. Time code sets the time code time for this queue. Time code queue enable or disable the time code. Attribute group times adjust attribute group times the color, the go position, etc. Fixture order, adjust the fixture order for this queue. Playback times, adjust the flash fade in, fade out times for this playback. To use those, you must use the timed flash key profile. So let's take a look at that. Here I'm on version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. So you see here, if we go ahead and bring up our key list here, and we'll go ahead and go to Q1 on it, so we have a queue that's live. And we can see that if we hit our live time button, we can change the fade in, the delay in, the delay out, the fade out, the move in dark delay or fade in, fixture overlap, the auto load times. We can change the link for away from go to link with or link after. And you can set our link offset, our type, our time code. We can enable or disable our time code, our group attribute times, our fixture order, our playback times. So we'll go and test our fade in. We'll say that uh, we found out one second wasn't good enough, so we'll go ahead and change it here to five. And you see that here it's changed the so next time we fire this queue, we fade in over five seconds. If we hit our next time key, we get the same thing, but now for Q2, so we change it. We know that one second is not going to be good enough for this queue, so we'll change it to 0, 03 and hit enter and then exit. And we see now that it says three here, so I hit go. We get a three second fade in on Q2. Let's say I needed to change another one, so you hit next time. I say I wanted to change Q5. I now change the settings in Q5. You can change it to be a four second fade in with a delay of two seconds. You can see that now I have those on there. So that's the hit. Exit and then go. And when we get to Q5, we have our four second fade in with our two second delay. We could also quickly time change here, say that I didn't want to permanently save it, but I wanted to do Q6 to now be five seconds. So I can type five and then hit go. And see that now it fades in over five seconds, even though our saved is still one second. So that's using the live time and next time keys in our keyless control section. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.